Today, I'm going to talk about the current state of the market and how I'm preparing for the upcoming event and weekly reset. So the meta and high rated icon market is doing really well. As you can see here, Maldini is way up to 24, 25 million coins after just being 17 million a few days ago. And that's because there weren't any new defenders from the UCL event that could take his place. So after dropping from the pre event crash, he rose back up and is now soaring. And because everybody opened up packs, got new rewards, got tons of coins, people are able to spend a lot more on the players they want. Another great example is Mbappe. He's at 25 million now, which is insane. He's gone up from like 20 to 25 in just a day or two. But of course, I do think they're actually going to keep going higher. I don't think we're going to get anything in the next few days that will drastically hurt the market. I will talk about a potential new event coming out very soon in a little bit. But another player to look at is Rude Hullet. He's now 30 to 31 million. And even Jude Bellingham is up to 12 million, which is insane. I never saw this coming. So the golds and icons are doing really well. One other thing to point out, Ronaldo's up to 40 million, which is crazy. But the other players that are doing really well is the UCL cards. Holland is now up to 47 million. And I do think some of this price increase is because he's been performing really well recently, even though he won't get an upgrade for another month or two. And that's one thing I want to quickly touch on. It's really important to understand that these cards will not receive upgrades until about the middle or early December. Their teams have to win two out of three of the next match days, and those aren't going to be completed until December. So it's really important that if you want to invest in these guys now, hoping they go up in value when they get the upgrades in December, understand that at that point, we could have players that are actually better than them because that is like a whole month and a half away. But with that being said, Bellingham is absolutely flying up close to 40 million coins. And unfortunately, Walker has just steadily gone down and down and down. I do think he's worth more than 5 million, but not when he had an exchange. Having that exchange allowed everybody to get him for a very cheap price. So I think now he's about his market value. But when the exchange ends and people can no longer go in and get him for essentially like two and a half, three million coins, this card may go back up in the market. So that is how the market is doing in general right now, but I actually want to point out a few things that maybe you guys can use in the future. I'm not sure if I'm going to use it, but a couple concepts that may allow us to make a few coins. So Bellingham here, while his card was going up to about nine, nine and a half million coins, the other day he exploded up to 11, 12 million coins. And if you guys don't know, in his performance against Barca, he scored a brace. He got two goals played really well and we've seen this in previous fifas where sometimes when a player performs well in real life their card in game actually goes up in value i just think as people wanted to play with a player that they think is cool in real life or they idolize and so the player's value actually goes up so we saw it with bellingham but we've also seen it with holland now of course like i said these guys were already going up because they are good in game but they did have these drastic spikes when they performed really well in their real life match. So that's something cool to look out for. Maybe in the future, I might try investing in some of these cards before match to see if they go up in value and see if I can make some coins, but it is a really risky play. Now, the other investment that I really thought about doing was actually picking up some Messies because the Ballon d'Or ceremony is today and I have a very good feeling he's gonna win. And if he wins, I also have a very good feeling his price can skyrocket, but for some reason, he's been capped at 17 million for days. So I'm not sure what EA is doing. I wouldn't be surprised if he was way past the 25 million coin mark already if they didn't cap his price. But this would have been a really cool investment if I was able to make it. Because winning the Ballon d'Or is such a big deal. So I wouldn't be surprised if his price actually skyrocketed afterwards if we were able to actually buy him for a true market price. So those were just a few things that I was looking at, but now let's talk about how I'm preparing for what should be the next event, which if you actually go into the events or the program section here, you could see Dia de Muertos, which means Day of the Dead. It's essentially the Halloween event for, I believe, South America, and it should be coming out tomorrow on Halloween day. Now, this is speculation, to be fair. Uh, EA have not announced it yet, although I do think they will today because this is the only time of the year that you could pretty much release this event. So with a new event coming out, there's usually a bit of panic in the market, but I really don't think there will be much of that for this event because it should be a short side event. So all of the meta players and the high rated icons, I think should be safe. We shouldn't see too much market movement, but what I have done to prepare for it is it seems like every single event comes with new exchanges. So what I've done is I've gone over and bought 
a handful of Perez and Oryazabal. I bought him for between 434 to 435 thousand coins and then a bunch of Perez's for 429 thousand and I'm trying to buy some more. Now I'm not only buying for this new event and the new exchanges for the new event but I'm also buying for the weekly reset that should be coming this Wednesday for all of the current UCL exchanges. So if we go over here, all of these exchanges right here will be reset in three days. And although these cards may keep going down in value because they have been steadily doing that over the past few days, I've decided to start buying at the low 400,000s just to be safe because I don't think these guys will get back down to the 350 or 375 like they were before the UCL event. I could be wrong, they could go even further down if there's a lot of supply on the market, but I'm starting to pick them up now at the 430,000 coin range, and for every time they drop another 10,000 coins in price, I'm going to buy up another 50 to maybe even like 100 copies. I'm not looking to make tons of coins on these guys, I'm going to try to sell them in the 500 to 550,000 coin range, which I think will be possible, but I'm also not willing to buy them at 440 or 450 i think that is getting too much so if they go down some more great if not i'm just gonna have my 60 or 70 copies here whatever it is hopefully cash out a few million coins and leave it at that aside from that i don't see many other investment opportunities at the moment i think we just have to wait for new content to come out and see what we could do with that the last thing i want to point out is i did sell off my final five rudigers for 10.5 million coins each I'm very happy that I did that because he has gone down quite a bit in value. He's now at 9.8 million, but for a while he was at nine and a half. And I'm glad I got rid of him because with the amount of new content that's coming out day after day or week after week, he might be outdated relatively quickly. So while I thought that was going to be a decent long-term play, I'm now a little bit more cautious on these kinds of players. I think for the most part, I'm going to stick to exchange trading, which is buying up these guys here for exchanges and selling them off at a smaller profit but on a larger quantity or investing in cards when they first come out like Kyle Walker I think those are going to be decent plays but anyways I hope this video helped as usual if it did please drop a like if you're new subscribe and I'll see you in the next one peace